Hello everyone, uh, Valus2501 here with part 4 of our first gunboat commentary in collaboration with Captain Meme. And I say part 4, and I cannot tell you part 4 out of how many, because part of this is that I have no idea what the outcome will be. So uh, let's get right into it and not waste any time. We left off asking if Austria is going to get those last two centers he needs. He's currently at 16. And the only centers that are still legitimately available to him are Belgium, Holland, and Paris, I would say. So uh, let's see what's going to happen. I talked about my predictions, their moves last time. Uh, but I expect to see some northern army units. Northern Army movements by Austria when it comes to Sevastopol, Galicia, Budapest, Bulgaria. I expect to see Western movements with uh, Tyrolia, Bohemia, Kiel, Berlin. Uh, Italy is going to try to hold against France, and England's going to move north and or try to get as many armies onto the mainland as possible. So here's that movement north by the fleets. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't expect him to give up St. Petersburg so easily. I don't know why. I don't think there's any reason for Norway to move Norwegian unless it's some kind of signal of friendship to Russia. But he has stabbed Russia so many times, even within the last couple of years, that uh, I, I just don't see the reason for that. It must be to convoy Edinburgh to Norway. That's the only thing that I can think of, and that he's trying to get even more armies into action. Uh, luckily, Russia didn't go for Scandinavia. He's continuing to bounce in Moscow. And moving to the Baltic Sea as, for England is a great move. Uh, putting pressure on Kiel and Berlin, as well as some possible Livonia shenanigans via convoy. Uh, great move there. Uh, like I predicted, we have Gascony supporting Paris to Burgundy. Uh, I suggested Piedmont go to Marseille as extra insurance. But reasonably so, that's not what Italy did. He kept holding Venice. And it's okay because Spain can now support hold Piedmont to Marseille. And even a two-power attack will bounce. So uh, maybe I'm in the wrong there and this is better. Uh, it certainly works. Uh, interestingly enough, yeah. So only now Austria is deciding that he needs to get his fleets out into action. Uh, a little late there, buddy. Uh, allows Italy to get Trieste. However, uh, Trieste is quite eminently retakeable with Tyrolia, Budapest, Serbia, even without using Albania. And uh, Trieste, being a fleet, cannot uh, retreat into the empty Vienna either, so that's not a worry. Uh, so we'll probably be seeing him retaking Trieste, probably with Budapest, as Budapest, you know, the more inland an army is right now for Austria, the less useful it is. Uh, so that's what we'll see there. Italy has some interesting attack. He's going for Ionian to Eastern, and he anticipated this major shift by Austria. Unfortunately, I think it's very easily defendable. Uh, after Constantinople to Smyrna, there's really no attack here. Um, he's going to force Aegean, but even then, uh, a support to Greece than like Serbia or something, very easy. Uh, this Ionian Eastern Med combo is really only a much more potent threat when there's some kind of convoy behind it. I don't think we're going to be seeing Italy taking any centers off of Austria. Uh, as far as England goes, that's, that's the real major player there. It's up to England to save the day. Because uh, France is in throw mode, and I think, and uh, Austria's two centers away from winning. Uh, Berlin's not technically holdable if they use Silesnia, Munich, and Kiel, but it would mean giving up Kiel probably. So I think they have Berlin here. Uh, however, once there's a unit in Prussia, Berlin can be taken back in a reasonable manner by Austria. So nothing set in stone there. Let's really look at this micro environment here. So we have Kiel, Ruhr, Munich, Tyrolia, Bohemia, Silesnia as Austria. Which means Munich's more than holdable. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, he can't force Belgium. He can force Holland, however. Uh, and Burgundy to Ruhr is unlikely. Very unlikely. We'll probably much rather see a Burgundy to Marseille or a Burgundy to Belgium. Uh, so it looks like Austria can get Holland with Ruhr support. 
and then fill in Kiel with, say, Munich, right? So I'm expecting we're support Kiel to Holland, Kiel to Holland, Munich to Kiel, uh, uh, let's see, Bohemia to Munich, and then Silesia probably supports that, Warsaw to Prussia, and then obviously set to Moscow. Um, I think going through St. Petersburg would be a huge boon for Austria here. I think a rush uh, of Warsaw to Livonia, and then to support Sev Moss could be powerful. Um, however, with that convoy Edinburgh to Norway, you know, England may be recalcitrant to letting Russia into the draw, but, Ru but England will support Hold St. Petersburg all day, every day, over an obvious loss. Um, so it might be too late for that. might be too late. Uh, I just looked at this, and hilariously enough, uh, Germany retreated into Berlin. You'll notice that this is the uh, magenta colored rather than the red color, because that's how we do things. And uh, that's kind of interesting that that was allowed to happen. But it, you know, there's no way that he could, uh, that Austria could shift left without leaving it open temporarily. And because you know, fleet was in Sweden. Whoops. Um, right. It's not obvious that Berlin's under attack here. Uh, and it's not obvious that even if he took Berlin, Austria wouldn't be able to take it back. But I think Denmark to Baltic, Sweden to Denmark was a very smart move and puts a lot more pressure pressure on Austria. So uh, let's see what happens. Uh, we, you know, um, I didn't talk about North Sea, London, or English Channel. So a two-power attack on Belgium is tempting. But you can very easily see uh, Holland to Belgium with Burgundy support or vice versa. And even if Austria accidentally cuts one of those, which is likely, uh, you're still losing Holland. And you're still just pissing off France even more. So I'm going to go with uh, London to Picardy, North Sea, support hold Holland maybe? I think that might be reasonable. Uh, uh, I forgot who I'm dealing with. This is England. Oh... Okay, see, that's interesting. Russia must have known the con- Russia had to know the convo was coming. Uh, it's there, right? Uh, so, tapping Norway lets Austria into Moscow, prevents anyone from support holding you. I mean, the reason that I'm hedging and hawing about this, right, is that I think it's very reasonable for Russia to try to throw the game right here by giving Austria St. Petersburg. However, he kept denying Austria northern movement to Moscow, and he wasn't, like, going to Finland to fuck with England. So it seemed like Russia was content on being part of the draw and stopping Austria, and now it seems the opposite. Uh, there's no way he was sneaking into Norway like that. We all know the convoy was happening uh, as soon as we spent more than three seconds, I think, thinking about it. So uh, I don't understand that move. I don't think it gets him what he wants, uh, frankly. Although, let's see, if he was really serious about it, I guess he could, oh, because this was a, uh, no, that was a fall movement. Um, so if it was a spring movement, it would be much more genius, because then by blocking Norway, he can safely move to Finland, and that way giving, Mo giving Moscow St. Petersburg, right? If he was really intent on just giving it to uh, Austria, but it was a fall turn, so all my objections stand. That doesn't do much. Okay, anyways, uh, as I predict, Austria takes back Trieste. Interestingly enough, loses Tyrolia. Not going to be a problem. Uh, can still hold Trieste. Uh, it puts pressure on Munich, but he can take Tyrolia back easily, I think, here. Yeah, he can take Tyrolia back easily. Uh, Vienna support... Like, Vienna and Bohemia support uh, Trieste to Tyrolia, Serbia to Trieste. Uh, that automatically wins it back. Doesn't even have to use Albania. Uh, he's not... Austria's not going to get out, right? Eastern Ionian is rock solid. Two fleets, there's two fleets. Um, okay, that's why I didn't consider Italy taking Tyrolia as much. Because it leaves Marseille open. Uh, I was wondering about that. Uh, it seems that France is... They're, they're hoping that France wants to be part of the stalemate. He's no longer angry. 
Uh, it seems to be roughly the case. I fully expect Belgium support Burgundy, Paris support Burgundy. Oh no, Burgundy support Belgium. Uh, that would that could lose Belgium, assuming England doesn't do anything. But England will do things. Okay. Um, I think I think the dream's dead, guys. Uh, especially with losing Kiel, because he can't get past Picardy Burgundy. Austria can't get past Picardy Burgundy uh, without losing like Munich and Holland. Right, so he's gonna lose Holland. He can't. Uh, this is tricky. I shouldn't talk so quickly without thinking about it. So this 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 is complicated. Let's take a good hard look at this. All right. What? Well, this is probably the most complicated. And simultaneously, the most impart important part of the game. And I highly suggest that you write down what you think will happen as a test. Let's think about this. Can Austria hold Holland? I think the answer is no. England has so many units around that Holland space, including Heliogleit Land, uh, which I keep mispronouncing. Heliogland, he, Heliogland Bight? Okay, whatever. I'm not, who said I'm good at this game? No one, right? Um, so, Holland doesn't seem defensible. So he wants to go to Belgium. So he's going to go to Belgium. The obvious answer is Ruhr supports Holland to Belgium, but that's cuttable by Burgundy. So we now have a coin toss, uh, wine in front of me moment. Is it going to be Ruhr support? It's going to be a two attack on Burgundy, whether Munich supports or Ruhr supports. Probably Ruhr supports. Or is it going to be a two attack on Belgium? I think it's going to be a two attack on Burgundy. Uh, coming from Munich. I'm going to claim. All right. Ruhr supports Munich to Burgundy. Munich to Burgundy. Holland to Belgium. Or maybe maybe Holland to Kiel with Berlin support. That's much more reasonable. Mm. Yeah. Holland to Kiel with Berlin support. Uh, Prussia, Livonia, Moscow support. Prussia to Livonia. Silesia to Munich. Uh, then I talked about the south. Uh, England is going to go... That's tough. He wants to get that convoy up north, but he can't unless he also uses North Sea. England's going to go... Uh, I mean, he has to get that convoy in. He has to get more units on the ground. Uh, Yorkshire or London uh, to Denmark via North Sea. Edinburgh to Norway there's via Norwegian. He just has to keep trying. Um, Eagle Eye, Bland. God. I shouldn't, I've only, sorry, I've only been playing this game for a year. I'm new. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce everything. And then we're going to see Kiel to Holland with Heligoland support. Baltic to Kiel. I think that's a trap that England's going to fall for. Let's see. No. Oh, he tries the tricky Livonia convoy. Oh, why was it not Moscow to... Oh, oh, he wanted Prussia to support Berlin. Okay. I didn't even consider that. I don't. England wouldn't do that attack. England wouldn't do that attack at all. Ooh, Austria messed up there. Should have listened to me. Again, guys, just listen to me. Especially in full press. Especially in tournaments. Um, yeah. He got Belgium. Okay, I was wrong. He did the two attack on Belgium rather than the two attack on Burgundy. But like I said, right, it's, you know, 50-50, one in front of me kind of thing. Uh, every every supply center that Austria takes, he also loses one. And every turn, they get closer to setting up the stalemate. I think this is going to be curtains soon, guys. Um, I think it's going to be curtains. 
France is on board. Russia's going to get eliminated easily. Uh, he fucked up in Livonia. He fucked up bad in Livonia. Uh, he can't even keep Belgium for long. They're going to convoy to Denmark. I didn't see the convoy to Holland, but I understand it. Um, it. And then he can't get past the fleets in the south. This might get boring. Uh, Where does Italy get this build from? Uh, oh, because he got uh, forced to spend in Tyrolia like I predicted. Uh, uh, it's so obvious, I didn't even say anything. Okay. Um, yeah, and then Austria can't take Kiel. He can't take Holland or Belgium. Uh, he could have snuck into Burgundy there. I really think he should be attacking Burgundy with Munich. I think there's a lot... I think that's his only... It's the only avenue left for his pressure to escape. And it's no longer available because now Picardy's just going to support whole Burgundy every turn. Um, no idea why Nor Norway to Sweden happened. No idea at all. Um, now Russia... This is like... So Russia should have been giving Austria St. Petersburg last like four years. Uh, and only now does he make the correct move to do that. I mean, you're gone. You're gone, buddy. Uh, Austria's gonna realize that he can't solo, back off, and let England take it, and then draw. Alright, uh, Kiel's completely held up. He can put two support holds on it, and Austria only has three units surrounding it. Um, Holland, Belgium, Burgundy are all safe. Piedmont, Venice completely knocks that up. Oh, it doesn't knock that up because Adriatic's around, but Rome now is in the mix, so that's completely set. The only thing left for Austria is a tricky convoy to Apulia, and that's going to get blocked. Ionian to Apulia, Hyrarian to Ionian with Eastern support. Oh, something... Oh, he didn't He didn't block that at all. I was so confident, because that's what he should have done. Uh, I was so confident, because that's what he should have done, but he didn't do it. England's playing a dangerous game with London English Channel. Don't make France nervous, dude. Don't make, don't do it. You can't, you, France, France got his way into the draw, despite my protestations. Uh, France has earned his way into the draw. You need him to protect Marseille, Paris, Belgium. Uh, just don't do it. Just don't, don't make people jumpy. I can't tell you how many games I've won because I convinced someone else to make the person holding the line jumpy. Uh, don't, don't, don't do it, man. It ain't worth it. Uh, let's talk about this convoy to Apulia. Is it something we need to worry about? That puts four on Venice. However, Naples can cut Apulia, or Ioni can cut Adriatic. And, uh, you can only attack from one space. So one of those cuts will go through. Uh, therefore, Venice is safe. Uh, I don't think there's anything interesting, then. Uh, it's kind of funny that England needs three units and not two uh, up in the north because Russia actually finally got, finally let. It was Russia's choice all along. Russia finally let Austria into St. Petersburg. So uh, now instead of Norway support St. Petersburg, two units to cap the north, uh, England needs three units to cap the north, but he's still going to get it either way. And he's... Bill can protect Kiel all day long. All right, we got to see end of game anytime now. What is England doing? Why do you keep building fleets? Uh oh, that stab on Italy by France. France, what the fuck are you doing? Be oh my god, people get so greedy. They get so greedy. Um, does this kill the man? What's Austria at? One two so. Three home. I'm going to count them like we do in face-to-face. -face. Three home. Four. Oh my god, how did he get Venice? I just explained. Because Ionian supported Naples to Apulia? What? Oh, Apulia was an army so it could cut Rome, too. That would explain it. Okay, but again, he took it with a uh, fleet. But that causes yet another disband, right? That's two disbands? Yeah, forced to span Venice, and then disbanded Ionian, right? Uh, lost Venice and Marseille. This is not good. 
This is not good. People get so greedy. I mean, it's great for me when I'm winning because it, but people get so greedy. Right? This is a stalemate. Uh, even with even with this shenanigan, it's fine. Uh, it's fine because Austria can't go further. And uh, England is sending more fleets, hopefully, to stalemate that up. Uh, but, wow. Burgundy to Marseille to build another army. Whew. I mean, Bulgaria is still closed, right? Like, Aegean Sea is still, like, taking up three units of Austria, locking in a fleet. Um, and Austria can't build more fleets. You just built two more armies. Where are they going to go? They're going nowhere. Um, so what's going to happen? It's all up to France. And I can't tell you what France is going to do because he's making silly moves. Okay, now he's fighting Austria on the line. Uh, nothing new there. Austria, right, trying to get his fleets into a useful position because he refuses to do that. Uh, England going to help out. France does another stab on Italy. Sorry, I'm not even predicting at this point because the game should be over. Uh, right, the game should be over. Let's assume France was totally with the game. And let, like, Western Med goes to Ionian. Ionian AGN is pretty concrete. Uh, can't really slip through Greece. Uh, that would be his only choice, but then he'd like end up in Albania. Uh, Venice can't do anything without losing Venice. I mean, it's stalemated, right? It's well, even if it's not stalemated in a technical term, it it, it will be. Um, but now France stabs again for Spain to build a fleet, which can only be used to attack England. This is crazy, France. I was, I was going to say nice things about you, and now Austria can build another fleet. Okay, uh, now you can force Adriatic, and um, Italy had to disband Aegean. So this is, uh, it, uh, there's very few things that I can say about this besides shock. Oh, uh, what's Austria at again? I can't remember because my mind's blown. This game isn't over. One, two, three, home. Four, five, six, seven, Baltics. Uh, eight, nine, ten, Turkey. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, Russia. Fourteen, fifteen, Germany. Sixteen, Venice. So what's game win? Uh, he can't take any more. In he, he he has to get Rome, Naples, right? What's the chance he gets Rome, Naples? Well, he forces Adriatic. And he gets Aegean. He can uh, he can't force Ionian this year, so Mid Atlantic will get to Western Med. Uh, he can set up for an attack on Ionian, I think, by having Adriatic, Albania, and Aegean. But it's not obvious that he can do it before um, Mid Atlantic gets to Tyrarian Sea. And now the only question is: if, is is France really going to keep attacking the people stopping the solo? Is France really going to do that? Yeah. I mean, this whole... Right, so this whole area is completely stalemated. It's all about Roman Naples. It's about, right, him getting his fleets out. Uh, but this this is uh, two on two. So he can't take Ionian. And Western Med's going to get to Turing Sea. Okay. Um, France... Continuing, France seems like he's at, he actually does want to fight Austria. Does he just want to cut Italy out? Is that it? France is like so greedy, he's going to cut Italy out. Um, nothing wrong, wrong with being greedy. Nothing wrong with cutting people out. Unless it makes them so that they solo. Right? So now Austria gets his fourth fleet. Four against four, but you gotta remember it's gunboat. No press coordinating two English fleets, one Italian fleet, and one French fleet against one person coordinating 
four fleets simultaneously is tremendously difficult. Tremendously. Um, so, for example, um, wow, what would I do here? What would I do? As Austria, I, uh, so convoys. Let's talk about convoys real quick. One of the powers of convoys is that they can, they can withstand being attacked as long as they're not dislodged. So imagine Aegean support Ionian, Albania convoy somewhere. Uh, the, that, the chance that those three people coordinate to send a three-power attack on Ionian is basically zero. Uh, basically zero. Uh, they, they, they could, they, their best bet would be Tyrarian to Ionian because it makes way for Western to come into Tyrarian, so it seems natural. But then he retreats to Tunis. Uh, and retreating to Tunis gives a 50-50 chance uh, of keeping it. Right, so if Austria is in Tunis, and England's in uh, Ionian, and France is in Tyrarian, then there's a 50-50 chance that they either do Tyrarian support Ionian to Tunis. In that case, uh, Austria orders Tunis to Ionian with Aegean support, right? And that's that third case I was talking about, where you attack with equal strength in the exact opposite direction, and he keeps Tunis. Um, or they do Ionian support Tyrarian to Tunis, Tyrarian to Tunis, and he simply taps Ionian with Aegean, right? So uh, that leads to a 50-50 Tunis situation, which is unacceptable, basically. Oh, no. France, you're killing me. You're breaking my heart. My, Oh, my God. I am so nervous, and I'm not even a player, I think, in this game. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um... What does Austria do? What do the others do? Well, Trieste to Adriatic has to happen. And once you do Trieste to Adriatic, you can do some nice convoys to like Apulia with Venice and Adriatic support. So it, it, it's got to be Tyrolia support, hold Venice. Venice uh, support moves Albania to Apulia. Ionian convoys Albania to Apulia. Uh, Aegean support holds Ionian. That's my bet. And I can't tell you if France is going to take Tunis or not. Okay. Oh, my God. He convo is there. That's just disrespect. Oh, and I uh, called the Apulia convoy. I'm so good at this game. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. So th this is stalemated, by the way. This is a classic stalemate. Um where the South holds Berlin and Munich, it's basically impenetrable. Uh, unless, so Piedmont tapping Tyrolia would have worked here, but France is trying to cut out Italy. So Italy's like, fuck that shit. Um, okay, let's see. How does Austria get Rome and Naples? Because all he needs is Rome and Naples to win. To win the whole thing. Because France... France is not content with the four-way draw. France wants that three-way draw. Okay. Um... Wow, so how does Austria get Roman Naples? Well, it'd be nice if Italy just walked out of them. That's the best way, and there's all the chance in the world. I'd say 99% chance that Italy, um, if he could send press, he would tell Austria, here's exactly how I'm moving out, so you can move in. Uh, however, it's not obvious, so it, it would have to be... Uh, so Apulia support whole uh, Apulia supports Ionian to Naples, Ionian to Naples, Aegean to Ionian. Um, and so remember, remember, a moving unit cannot be support help. 
So Tyrarian C is going to try to support hold Naples, uh, and Italy can reject that by just moving to Tyrarian C. And then I hope I see Rome Tuscany as well. Yep. Oh, what? He he let him support. Uh, uh, okay. That's weird. Giving up uh, Rome, giving up Rome, but not giving up Naples. So what happened is that uh, Austria convoyed to Apulia and put Apulia in Venice because he needs those armies, right? Like like I've been saying, you know, and a, a fleet in Venice, they're Austrians, just useless, just useless. Um. So he's setting it up. He can force Rome. He can force Naples, assuming Naples does not uh, allow the support hold. So, I'm, I mean, at this point, I'm just waiting to see uh, Austria move into Rome and Naples. Um, oh, no. What happened? I think Tuscany tried to support Apulia to Naples. Why is Austria support holding Naples? Why is Austria not going to the win? Did I miscount the centers? 1, 2, 3, home. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, just go for the win, man. What's going on? I can't even tell. Okay, there we go. Take Rome. Okay, there we go. Take Naples. Game 1. Ah, game 1 by Yale UNC. He is the current professor for the uh, 2015 summer uh, gunboat school of war, which I'm running, and also uh, I'm acting as assistant professor. Uh, you can read some of my commentary there and some of his. He's an incredibly smart guy. Uh, there's the URL at the bottom if you want to go to the game and look at it yourself and look at who all the other players are. I'm going to leave them anonymous for now. Uh, I've said some mean things to people I probably like, and I've said some nice things to people I probably don't like. Um, France really fucked it up, though. That's the moral of the story. Uh, if there's one thing to take away, there was a lot of nice small lessons here. But if there's one thing to take away, is that you do not cut out people who are essential for stopping the solo. Uh, it was pure greed. It was bad tactical play. It was bad strategic play. It was bad diplomatic play. And almost all the time from France... There was like one part where I kind of respected it, but it turned out to be for the wrong reasons. Um, well, congratulations, congratulations to Yale UNC for winning this game, and uh, congratulations to all of you for making through it, it of this uh, four-part, like three-hour-long commentary. Uh, this is the first one I've ever done, so please, please give me feedback either uh, via YouTube on the videos or via Web Diplomacy, where I'm uh, Valis2501. Uh, if you're on that site, you've probably uh, seen me post, and you can find me there. But I, I appreciate very much you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.